guys, welcome back to a brand new video on the Zeke Said So YouTube channel. Obviously, I'm not in my studio room, uh, but I uh, am I'm recording this video. I literally just got home from from, from work, so um, I I saw that er, that two hours ago the Super Mario Brothers uh, movie trailer uh, has dropped. Um, I really like the first trailer, um, and I honestly am really kind of excited for this. I'm interested to see if we hear a little bit more of uh, Chris Pratt as Mario, because I know there's a lot of controversy surrounding Chris Pratt as Mario. So let's see how this uh, this trailer turns out. Uh, let's not waste any time. Let's watch the trailer in three, in three, two, and one. Mm -hmm. Ooh, an arena. Ooh. All right. That's a go. Donkey Kong. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is coming. Together, we are going to stop that monster. He sounds pretty cool. Look at us. We're adorable. <laughs> oh, I got this. No problem. Shut up. Yes. <laughs> I think Chris Pratt sounds that bad, actually. There's a huge universe out there. A huge universe. Nintendo universe. They're all casual. Oh, wow. No pressure. <laughs> what? Mario Kart? This early? Rainbow? Wow, that was cool. That was really cool. But wait, it, so like, so we saw in the beginning of the trailer, they're doing Smash Brothers, they're doing Super Smash Brothers, they're doing the original Mario Kart game, and Mario Kart in one movie. That, Wow. Or at least they, they have those vibes. I'm not saying it's going to be exactly like the games, but at least they're they're picking from all different sorts of Mario games. That's very interesting because I kind of thought they would just stick to the original Mario Kart, Mario game and then maybe down the line in another movie we see Mario Kart or Super Smash Brothers or whatever. But, wow, it seems like they're really going to put all three in a... And <laughs> I'm sorry. I love the way Donkey Kong looks in this... Uh, and I just love when he starts beating the crap out of Mario. <laughs> I just love when he starts beating the crap out of Mario. You know what? We're, we're just going to watch this trailer all over again. Screw it. Let's watch it twice. Watch it twice. It was a good trailer. And I got to say... Illumination did a pretty damn good job making it look exactly like the Mario uh, game. Like keeping the character designs the same is just. <laughs> And Jack Black sounds a little cool as Bowser. <laughs> Yay! But there's one problem. There's a human has a mustache just like you. 
I don't have a problem with the way Chris Pratt sounds. Because he's getting the spirit of the character. <laughs> There's the laugh. See? See? It's like, it's like he's getting... He's understanding what the spirit of the character is. Like, yeah, it would... I mean, yeah, it would be nice to, you know, have, you know... It's a me, Mario. You know, have have that. You know, have that classic voice. But at the same time, it's like it's like for me, I don't really care as long as they understand the spirit of who the character really is. You know, like example, when you read the Iron Man comics, you don't hear Robert Downey Jr. At least pre Iron Man, when you read those comics, you don't, you probably don't even know. You know, like, you probably don't even hear Robert Downey Jr.'s voice. But nowadays, when you think of Iron Man, you think of Robert, what Robert Downey Jr. brought to that character. You know? Um, you know, same thing with Spider-Man. Like, like, look how many times Spider-Man's been adapted. You know, because there's been, you know, they've had actors who have come in and do their own interpretation. And Chris Pratt is coming in to the Mario character, and he's just doing his own interpretation of it. But he still understands the spirit of who the character is. You know, if Chris Pratt was just being Chris Pratt and he was just, you know, doing what Chris Pratt does in like the Lego movie or in Guardians of the Galaxy, then yeah, that that would be an issue. But for me, he's understanding who the, the character of Mario is. Um, so I like that. Um, I actually really like the way uh, I like how they're handling Peach. I think she she's kind of cool. Um, Anya Taylor Joy sounds great as the character. Um, we did not get to hear anything from Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong though, and I was kind of hoping we would. We just got to see Donkey Kong just, you know, beat the crap out of Mario. But um, yeah, I was kind of hoping we would hear a little bit of Donkey Kong's voice because I actually really like Donkey Kong. Um, but yeah, they're doing Mario Kart. I wonder if the third act of this movie is just going to be like a whole nostalgia thing for those who who remember the Mario it, it, like I wonder if it's just going to be like like hey you guys remember Mario Kart well here's a theatrical version of it like that would I maybe that's what the third act will be I don't know um or maybe that's like halfway through the movie and then maybe the second half is I don't know like it's it's strange you know I I'm okay with it though I I think it looks I think it honestly in my opinion it looks great it looks wonderful and i wasn't expecting this because i'll be honest i have not been a fan of illumination you know like honestly illumination's films i have not i like some of their early films i love the first two despicable me films i actually really enjoyed the first thing um i like what they did with their dr seuss adaptations like the lorax and the grinch but I have not liked a single movie that they've done since. Like I have, I didn't like Sing Two. I hate both Secret Life of Pets movies, um, and and for me, I just feel like the and Minions the rise Minions the rise of whatever was what it was called. Um, Minion grew Gru's revenge, the revenge of Gru, the rise of Gru, whatever it's called. Um, that I didn't like that either. So honestly, like I kind of went into this going, uh, Illuminations doing this. I don't know if I like this. I was kind of hoping that maybe a Studio Ghibli or a Pixar would bring this world to life. 
But honestly, as I look at it, I don't think Illumination did that bad of a job of bringing it to life. I think Illumination's actually keeping to the spirit of what this world is. You know, because they tried adapting this into live action. And look how that turned out. <laughs> you know? So it's like, it's like they, they, this world, I've always said that Mario Brothers could work as a movie. It just has to be animated. And the way Illumination's doing it, this is kind of how I wanted a Mario Brothers movie to be. So, um, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, sorry if my hair's a mess. I just, uh, had to take it off for a second. But, um, yeah, no, um, I love what, uh, I love what Illumination's doing with this. I love, I love this trailer. I cannot wait for the movie. Um, comes out in April, so we have a, we have a little ways to go, but I'm really looking forward to this. This is just easily jumped on my most anticipated for next year so really excited for that guys what you guys think of the trailer let me know uh what you guys thought down below and thank you guys so much for watching guys and if you guys like this video please put a thumbs up and subscribe i think i should channel because zeke the geek said so i'll talk to you guys later peace out